But the, wait for the clock to count down. It's not Swain. It's going to be MF there for Kramer. Just pure team fighting from LGD. And then you've got a Twisted Fate that's going to be able to roam and help you in the laning phase already. So I think that the team... call for help, but I don't think help's coming. First Blood just sitting right here under the tower. So Boone going to do what he can to try and survive. Going to get stunned. Going to get uh, orange up. And now he's going to flash out of the way. But it's he first Blood. Obliterate this gangplank. Connect is already level six. But they're just looking for the bottom side. And will let Tapoon live another day. Yeah, good pop priority there for Legacy does give moment, So Legacy has no problem looking for a gank here because Peanut doesn't have flash. There's a stun there and that's moving down to the bottom side. Kramer, no flash, no hope! But Vips in there is gonna get the first kill. As Mark is pushing a bottom lane, but Topoon is in trouble once again. This could be five people in his lane ASAP. Mark with the flash E does land it, but the oranges are gonna be burnt now. Peanut gonna put him in the smoke screen and Topoon just getting chased down all day. Peanut looking for another kill. There's the collateral damage. Gonna take down the gangplank. He's got his completed warrior enchantment at the moment so he's really strong gonna do so much damage and they're still gonna get that first brick because they pop the herald over here so it's just gonna be gold over to raise here but the race for first brick has already been won by lgd this was the concern for legacy how is the laning phase gonna play yeah. he's gonna have a much better position around the fight than the galley yeah. quick drake take as well lgd used in a defensive manner which makes it so much harder for them to get these flanks and these team fight wins they're gonna kill this twisted fate at the very least he does have flash. Yeah, he's gonna try. No one in the area to help him. There's the gold card out of she Ape. But though can leap back in. There's the TP in. That'll force the flash. And LGD have to burn is gonna be busy finishing off this tower, which I like because Legacy do need the gold. The second Rift Herald is gonna be even better than the first one, despite not giving any plates away. There is plenty of places where they can try and break this with. And LGD, oh, they take the mid outer as well where a legacy was they were so focused on the bottom lane they're now slow to this they're gonna lose a tier two and then lgd can just rotate over we'll give the second drake over to lgd as that gold is continuing to grow four thousand gold up now and your stun does oh. not connect after the ulti there for peanut to get out from under the tarak stun because of the terrain you still don't even have the right angle there so only tally can potentially use that here yet they're still just bleeding turrets left and Tally can TP and find a really good flank. This could be it though, Misfortune still has ultimate. Yeah, full of Renekton though, they're gonna spot him now finally, but I think it's too late, Race Gonna get stunned from so far away as Long Jing. Gonna take down the Callista. A second kill already as the bot lane for Legacy has fallen, and Bip's gonna have to run out of there. The Dragon will be full. main event of Worlds 2020, but still a long way from that one here, but certainly this game. Looking very good for LGD as they finish on the They're getting some value out of the Lich Bane and RFC as well. And there it is, Divide and Conquer. You see that Tarek and Kalista were in the bottom side. Well, surprise, the Misfortune was able Lisa's to... is going to crash in. She is going to go ahead and finish off this inhibitor. The cannon is going to do it. And mid lane, oh, Race was actually the target. That cleanse, not good enough. As the bullet time comes in, she is almost flanking all the way around the back of the mid inhibitor tower. Legacy just kind of getting crawled into their own base now, but gonna get blasted by Peanuts ulti. They're gonna go on for GA now, but the exhaust is good. Still the damage is there, gonna rip the spears out, but it's not enough to take him down. Fates call in! Ultimate pop for Tarek, but GA into stasis. He goes, surely they can get one kill. Indeed they will as Raze will finally pick off the pesky GA. And on they go again. Ray's looking for Long Xing. Gonna try and keep the kills going. Renekton getting low, but he's pretty tanky. Mark here as well. Tally with a three-man taunt. And they're still going. Mark surely is going to die. Indeed, Ray's will get a second kill. Of oh, playing Callista here. They're going to lose up this Ocean Soul. Sorry. Cloud Siona or even the Renekton that can just pop ultimate and immediately find the engager. They're looking for more fights and they're going to catch great. Peanut stun Ray's. This is an easy kill. See you later, Peanut. Spears. Oh, he's not in range. That's a heartbreaker. Isle's now going to get stunned up. And Mark, he's found just that. Race is going to get stunned up. But Tally, going to look to save the day. Mark now made a pink cushion. Ashier will finally take down Tally. But Legacy, they're going to keep fighting here. Race, he needs to stay alive. But it's not going to be all that easy. Already killed by the Renekton. And it's going to be absolutely falling to pieces here for the Oceanic lads. As LGD look to put the finishing touches on this game. That's quite the TP. <laughs> Very, they really uh... Want him. Aggressive from Shea, we'll call it. Perhaps disrespectful. RFC gonna proc in. See you later, Babe. And that's gonna be the ace for LGD. That's gonna be game one for LGD as they'll finish off the first Nexus on their way to the world's main event. Quite collected of a game. You only had 12 kills in 20. Uh, running down the clock, and it's gonna be Ezreal there for Kramer. Just super safe there. He's gonna be able to survive against a lot of the Twisted Fate roams as well as being able to itemize Frozen Heart, Frozen Fist if you really Once want. Once again, we'll see this trade. Legacy taking the first dragon, LGD gonna take the first Herald. 
LGD is going to be happy. It's a full on 5v5 to Poon's run down. Not even level 11 just yet. They will get it. Reveal the soul of this game. Just where they need them to. And so there's no need to take these unnecessary risks. If you already have a fairly high percentage of winning the game, why would you do something to change that if things are already going the way that benefits you the most? Pain. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it was low, but she just had enough to finish it off, had enough pressure. Two tower take here is Kramer. Going to have more than enough caster creeps to take this down. LGD will fail the outer ring just under 20 minutes. And the Twisted Fate won't be able to reposition. Full on Ching as well, another flank. I feel like I've seen this play already, but Bip getting low. They can't see the Camille just yet. Now they're going to get the bad news in onto Babbitt. They go and Babbitt's just going to be slain. That's first blood, 21 minutes in, but Legacy, they're going to try and turn it back around to Poon. He's going to get one kill. They've killed the captain and they've killed the Camille as well. There's the catch in that Raze was after. But it's a 4v3 as LGD is still throwing that poke. Okay, LGD can still fight this though. Look at all the poke coming through. They don't have a jungler. Isles is so low, Tally. Gonna get the stun down, but the damage is there for the Draven ulti. Legacy are gonna force LGD out. They desperately want to get to Soul Point here, but Raze is going back and again. One order, one to Mark needed, but Raze no flash. He's gonna force them away. Ulti out. The true drop barrage kills Isles, but they get the dragon. They're gonna have to call words, but Raze possessed. He's gonna go back in, cleanses it off. He's gonna get damage down as Kramer pokes back and forth. Now Raze gonna have to be careful. Sacrifice is made for Tapoon, but he takes down Kramer, perhaps not a sacrifice at all. It is indeed as Peanut gets the trade. They're soft. They're looking for just a fight. Yeah, Raze uh, gonna back away. Do I need that spear? Blocked there for Isles. Mark going in. Raze kiting out though. It's gonna be a good call here if they get the stun down. TP in for Tapoon. She around the side. They've seen him though from the TF ulti. But Legacy gonna have to be careful. Peanut in. There's the Poppy ulti. Pops oh, up the spins up. The kill is over. But the damage from Draven ulti is gonna get the counter kill onto Peanut. And now the stun onto Long Xing. He's gonna get picked up by the Bromley autos in the air. And Raze is gonna grab it. Raven is popping off pastry. He has so much damage right now. They're trying to dive him, but the Brom combo with him locks everybody else down. LGD's having a really hard time breaking through with this. They're picking these fights that are a little bit of a question mark there. I'm not sure what they think they can accomplish. She is going to get there before the dragon spawns, but Legacy going in now. Mark is going to be the target. Tallying with a gold card. See you later, Leona. Legacy going to try to keep this Camille and cast it in from getting CC'd and burst right away. They know who they have to kill. Yeah, again, the trap is closing here for LG, but this is a 4v5. They're going to have to try and fight. Dragon is low as well. Legacy, what's the decision here? Oh, Elite, go back! Oh, reset again, but there's the Poppy ulti gonna kick Longxing out of the fight! Here they go! They find the stun! That's... She ain't dead! The shutdown in on Fatali. What? The dragon's gonna get stolen though, his peanut is gonna go down, but now it's a 5v3 as Longxing gonna dive in and race! He needs to leave him, but Camille is gonna lock him down for so long as they finally find the shutdown. But Tally's living, Tapoon is as well. Mark's gonna get stunned, there's the gold card out. They've got it, they've got the stun as well! But Vim's gonna get it, that's gonna be the ace! Legacy, they found it as Babip grabs a triple kill! They know that this is gonna be a really tough one. Maybe Pina can pull off another steal, but this Baron is already so low. These TPs are they're spooky, they're trying to finish it. They've kicked Peanut out of the pit. Baron's gonna go over to Legacy, but what's the fight gonna look like? I have to protect Raze here, but the Camille ulti is gonna dive in onto them. But I think Legacy, they're able to do it. They get one, and she goes down, but Raze falls in the exchange as Long Xing is gonna be the next one to go down. Topoon is keeping everybody in this pit. Trapped in there with the Poppy Kramer, trying to fight as best he can, but Tally is gonna put an end to that. And now Mark's been tagged by Concussive Blows as Tally gonna leap in with a gold card. No flash. And now that the Draven has been focused for so long, Luckily, the rest of Legacy's teammates are actually strong enough to deal with the rest of the team. They have enough crowd control to deal with everybody diving in and... Should be able to get this nice and easily. Can I get one more inhib though? That's kind of the gold standard other than ending the game. The LGD have a lot to hold on to here. It's gonna be tough to prevent this siege. Legacy are just gonna storm through and take this tower down. It's gone. Not a, good, not a lot of wave clear there, especially against the Baron. Camille's already based here. Might be looking for their last stand, <laughs> but without Mark, I think they'll just concede it. I love Poppy ulti. It's been a while since I've seen the quality now, Poppy ulti. They're looking to commit for this. LGD is calling back the Camille. Fight's about to break out. Be tricky. Legacy, I think they are going to force them to commit. Tally going forward. This move speed, he popped Ghost. 
Double sleep on the horizon there, it goes, but Vip has found the angle. In they go with the Glacial Fish of the Draven of the Orbis assassinates Kramer, but he's alive for now. It's Tapoon, he's keeping Shia out of the pit. Mark is low, but the Camille's gonna dive in as Tally trying to peel them off. Oh. There's the kill, Shia finds two, the bottom landing one fell. Riftwalk is legacy, surely not, surely they haven't thrown this game away. But Tapoon now in a 1v3 as Shia's picked up the triple. He's gonna make it the quadra kill. He might be able to That's get a, a death cap on Kassadin. He is so freaking fed right now. Yes, it's going to cost the next stick around and potentially be gunned down here. This is a really good position for LGD. They've got a lot of They're going. They're engaging. But Vip, double sleep. He's fine on Chie and Nidalee. Isles going back in as well. They have to get this cast in and they need a little bit more though. And they're not going to get it, but there's Tally going in. He's diving in for Kramer. But Kramer's going to get kicked out now. Peanut going to be the target. Raze finds it. Because Kassadin is so damn fed, and there's a GA. Now they're in the pit. Yeah, they're not going to get this Baron, but they might get some exit kills here. There's the Baron going over. Isle's going to tank it up, but Legacy needs to win this 4v4. Bungshing dives in, but he's got the GA. Ray's still alive. Tally again. He's going to go into stasis, oh. but the damage is just so massive. GA! Unstoppable! Just ripping through everybody into Poon. He's going to be left for dead here in the Baron pit as he shuts down Shia, but that's not enough as that's the ace for LGD. That Baron was not worth the pace. Look at these death timers. I think that LGD might try to end the game here. They're peeing to end it, and they certainly should be. Kramer with four items just finished off the fight that Shie could not, but he did so much work before we got here. Oh, 30 no. seconds. 20 seconds on Draven. I think it's there. It's five on on the Brom, but if they can tank this with the stone plate, they have more than enough damage. Yeah, they're going for it here. Brom's up. Has to get to work real quick here. No ulti for... Oh, he does have ulti, actually, but can he really do anything? Gonna pop the ulti, try and buy some time, and next is gonna be exposed. LGD from the brink of death are gonna make it 2-0 as they take down the Nexus. Wow, they stole that Impressive game. Cars, Callista game one, and Draven game two. Ooh, Mox Alistar. That's, uh, that's a good one. It's better than the Leona as a peel tool, and especially against somebody like a Twitch. Exactly. Maybe burns through this biscuit, hangs around. Wonder what the buy is going to be here for Camille. Clearly holding on to quite a bit of gold. Oh, that's such a good shield. But the shield's back here, and Alba Bip is the one in because it's a bait. The setup is there. No flash here. As the spins are going to start, there's the Eep, and there is the kill. First blood to jump out. You can't jump out of it. Dragon here over for LGD. In a hit level six. Happy to trade gold against pretty much anybody else just because you know how big of a threat you are. They're gonna dive top though. Yo, Galio's coming, but so is Twisted Fate. Red what? card for Shie. Here's Galio, but that's still gonna be a kill. Storm bringing in his tally. He's gonna get the taunt, but he just misses the ring. why that was pop timer. I actually thought he ran out of time, which is why it falls for a second there, but he didn't. Peanut's gonna flash out of the way. Mark's gonna ulti, gonna kick him out as well. The swell seed does connect, but bottom side, oh, Raze is the one going in for the 1v1, but the flash in from G is gonna get the stun, and Raze is just gonna eat too much damage here as he it will fall to Kramer. Wow, the Twitch at the same time looking for a fight, and LGD immediately recognizes we gotta get out of the top side, but there is a play in the bottom side, and they're gonna get a lot for this. This is so worth it for LGD because yeah, his own ultimate. And there was no play to be had there for Legacy. Tapoon, though, is looking deadly here in the top side of the map. Going to get stunned up, but he takes down the tower. Here's Babip once again. Into the cage goes the Volley Bear. And Babip's going to spin around. Stormbring is going to be part for a bit of extra gap closing action. Just but making sure that the Camille can continue to have a swell oh, time. Spooky. Up it's very oh, spooky. Mark here for Raze. No flash. Going to get stunned up. Oh, it's a nice little bit of stasis, but he's in a 1v4. Good luck. Isles is here, but couldn't get his ulti down in time. Tapoon's TP it in, though. Who's he gonna Whoa. get? It's Shia that he wants. There's the Galio. Can they make a play out of this? They need to try and trap bomb, but TF is gonna get himself out with the ulti. Mark is gonna be sacrificed, but he's actually got the ulti himself. Gonna stay alive Whoa. for a little while longer as Mark gets a kill now, but Vip is in again. Tapoon looking for something. Legacy need to find at least one kill here, and they will Carry. at this juncture. Shia blitzing on down with the gold cup. They don't have a jungle here, so there's no way LGD should be getting this dragon. Unless LGD fully commit for a fight, but they don't have everyone here right now. But Vip's gonna look to finish off the objective. Will indeed smite it away. Graves now, is here. 5v4, but gonna be a 5v5 in short order. But Vip looking to spin around and get the sleeps happening, but he just gets blown to pieces by Kramer. Sure, will go down for that objective, so yeah, you deny that dragon, but this doesn't feel like a worth. Yes, 2,000 gold down. Shia yeah, gonna make it even more actually as he splits down the top side. Watch this one again. Legacy did a good job trying to defend Raze here. 
So I wonder what the vision was here on the minimap because they see that what's happening, fans. Raise though, gonna set it up on a mark. Oh, there's the submarine you talked about, Crumbs. But now the tier four, he's gonna reveal them. Althos goes back in, but bip. Gonna get the Terracolti on, just barely lives, but Tally's gonna be sacrificed. As the Galio falls, and now Shia gonna chase down Raises. The target stunned up again. Longjing's taken down Babim. Raise is gonna fall as Peanut gets the double kill and it's starting That's to what fall. ended up happening. Alistar has no problem popping the ultimate and turning things around. It's looking rough there, Raze with his hands in his eyes, just thinking of how can you coming in from the fog of war. Oh, the dunk. It's Turns bit. out they actually killed. And now 6,600 gold make it more. About 7k. As LGD is still going. A minute 35 left on this Baron to knock down more towers. Ulti is going to spot somebody who's the target. It is, of course, Raze. No. See you later, Sunshine. And she going to grab that one. Picking on Twitch. They know that he's the one that will carry this game if Legacy is to overcome it. They're losing even more on the map. It's only 22 minutes in, but so far this game just blew wide open. Tapoon is just giving up on defending the base because he can't really do it. He's gonna keep splitting here as best he can, but now gonna be forced to TP back in. LGD have already taken two in hips. They've got a minute left on this Baron, and they're knocking down Nexus Towers. This right one is dead. Legacy have to make a play now. God, that single Nexus Tower. Yeah, that committed. little glimpse, they instantly pop it and kill it. All right, Legacy going for a fight. They know they have to do something here. Mark gonna be the target again, but Tapoon's found Kramer. That's the real prize. Galio gonna charge in, gets two. And there's the sleep following in for Babip. Mark is low. He can finally be killed as Isles looks to flash after Peanut. Babip gets one, but it's traded back as Kramer is not dead. And now Twisted Fate's gonna lock up Raze, who falls as well as LGD. Are gonna wipe the river with the rest of Legacy as GA's just popping off to Poon, doing what he can. But Kramer is going to complete the ace as LGD are going to sweep their way to the world's main event. That's it. LGD have done it. Legacy try to get the fight that they wanted, but the combo of Galli and Camille was a little too late. The Ezreal was already too tanky, and they can just take their bow as they 3-0 Legacy Esports. They have all the different LPL team icons equipped. That's awesome. And LGD, I kind of get why, because they're going to be the fourth team to represent the LPL at the World's Main Event as LGD.